In this Excel video, I will teach you how to automate data entry with custom lists. This is going to be fun. Let's get started. So here I am in a spreadsheet. It's meant to be an inventory sheet for a clothing store. And as the manager of this store, let's say that I find myself constantly typing in clothing sizes like these. And I want you to think about how you use Excel. How much time do you waste manually typing in the same lists into Excel? And you may already know that Excel can help us to handle simple series like months. If we type January, tap enter, we can then click on E1 and use the fill handle to drag and it will continue the series that you started with January. Excel recognizes January is usually followed by February, etc. It also works for days of the week very similarly and it works for times as well. Let's say 1 o'clock p.m., 1.30 p.m., and then I can highlight both and use the fill handle and it continues that series. But what about clothing sizes? If I try double extra small and then extra small, does that work? No, it does not. It just repeats the pattern that I've put in there. I'm gonna hold control and tap Z a few times to go back and let's look at how to set this up as a new custom list. To set up a custom list, you just need to go up here to File, and then go down here to Options, and then Advanced, and then we just scroll down to the General section. It's much further down than you might expect, but there it is. And now I can click Edit Custom Lists. I want to create a new list, and what are the list entries? They are these sizes listed here. Now, of course, I could click here and type those in manually, but there is a better way in many cases, and that is to click down here on this button, and then you can click and drag to highlight data in your existing spreadsheet. So if you have something like this already typed in your spreadsheet, why not reference that here, and then you can click this button and choose Import. And notice that the sizes have come in in exactly the same order that I have them listed here in my spreadsheet. That's gonna be important. I'll click OK and OK again. Now back in my spreadsheet, let's say I need to go in and put in the cost of each of these items depending on the sizes. I'll start here with double extra small, and then I'll click and hold on the little fill handle, the little green square in the lower right corner of the cell that I have selected, and I'll hold that and drag it across all the way to J or K, whichever it is, release the mouse button, and it worked beautifully. I didn't really need this one, so I can select it and delete. And now I have set up a very effective custom list in Excel. Anytime I need this series, I can just type out the first item in the series, or it could be the second or third. Let's try the second and then click on that cell and use the fill handle and it will continue that series. There are all sorts of custom lists that you can set up that will be very useful to you. You could create a custom list for quarters of the year. Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, or it could be project phases, initiation, planning, execution, monitoring, and closing. It could be school classes like freshman, sophomore, junior, senior. It could be data types, text, number, date, boolean, formula. It could be work shifts like morning, day, swing, and graveyard. There are just almost countless examples that I could give you of custom lists that would come in handy that do not already exist within Excel, but that you can set up by going to the File tab, Options, Advanced, and then down to the General section and Edit Custom Lists. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, the best way to do that is to become a channel member but you could also click the thanks button below the video. You could support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch, and you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of supporting the channel, here are my Super Techie channel supporters. Thank you so much, and I hope you'll think about purchasing some of our channel merch. For example, this wonderful t-shirt with the tech boy on it.